this is basically uh, how you set up your Minix when you receive it. So you just plug it into the back of your TV using the HDMI cable. And on the bottom left you will see uh, the settings option. Just click on there and you'll see Wi-Fi. And over on this right hand corner you will uh, be able to select your own. It'll usually be the first one on top because it'll be the one with the strongest signal. So just click on your Wi-Fi router and it'll ask you for the password. Type in your password and it's all set up. Alternatively, if you use an Ethernet cable, we do recommend Ethernet cable over Wi-Fi as it's just a lot faster, but Wi-Fi will work fine. Um, to use Ethernet, you just plug the Ethernet cable into the back of the box and turn it on. You don't need to enter a password or anything if you're using the Ethernet cable. And then uh, that's it. Yep, your Minix is set up. To get into the main app menu, you just press the uh, around the icon with the six dots. And there's various different apps preloaded onto your box. Uh, you've got Google Play Store so you can download more apps like Facebook or Netflix if you wish. Some of the main apps you use is Mobro, Showbox, HD Cinema and uh, XBMC. XBMC is the main one, it's the media center so we'll just pop in there. When you turn on XBMC uh, you'll see these five apps down here but these are just shortcuts um, to some of the popular apps on it but to get into them all you just go with videos and add-ons and these are all the different apps installed on the box and they're full of different stuff, movies and TV shows. Um, where are we? So the looks like Cartoon HD is great for uh, kids cartoons and Disney movies. There's a few hundred different Disney movies you'll find in here. And also uh, various different kids cartoon shows. You can see there's hundreds of different uh, kids TV shows here, Looney Tunes and Batman and Ben 10, there's loads in there, but then you can also go into Disney collection and it'll be all there, uh, the Disney movies, even the latest ones, will be on there, so you've got Frozen, The Lion King, all the old ones as well, Bambi, The Little Mermaid, there's a few hundred different ones there, there's Snow White, Pocahontas, you can also search uh, top movies, which would be uh, some of the most popular movies out. So some of the popular movies out now. From Transformers, Captain America, 22 Jump Street, Hergies, Guardian of the Galaxies. Loads of different movies in there. Then uh, some of the other apps. For uh, live television, you can use FTV or film on here, and this will be all uh, live television channels in these two apps. So, um, for uh, the UK ones, go to UK Live TV, and these are all live television channels from uh, the UK. You've got your BBC One, BBC Two, Channel Five, ITV, E4, Dave. All different channels, so we just click on uh, BBC here. And this is uh, what's playing on BBC right now. These are our live channels. To get back out of it, you just press the OK button. And this goes for movies as well. When you're playing something, you just always want to click stop when you're going over it and it'll bring you back. If you press the back button, the movie will keep playing in the background and it gets a bit annoying when you're trying to search through. So I will go back then. And uh, the other apps are just full of movies and TV shows, all these with uh, entertainment hub and I want to watch, click. But uh, two of the main ones I use is Genesis and Ice Films and then uh, Movie 25 is very good as well. But um, it looks at Ice Films, just click on it. Remind me later. And then you can check out uh, recently added, so whatever was added today will be on there. Or you can just go into uh, movies or TV shows. You can search the made to Z, if there's a specific one you're looking for. Or you can check out uh, what was recently added to it. So we go into recently added there. And these were all added uh, in the last few days. So these are the ones that was added uh, today. So these two are added today. This is what was added yesterday. And 
And then to go into a movie, you just click on it. This is Soy Bubbly. This is only out. And then it'll bring up a series of links. And some of the links, when you click on them, uh, there might be a file in it, so it could say file empty. So you just search down through the links to find a movie. But you do get used to it, uh, you kind of get to know what links always work. For ice films, uh, I do find the best two is BU, Billion Uploads link, and uh, MR, that's the movie rail link. So you just click on the Billion Uploads one here. The Cyber Bully movie. Again, to go back, just click on stop. Let me go back. And Genesis is kind of the same. You can search through A to Z, or they have a, an actual search function where you can type in what you're looking for. So you want to look for the TV shows, just click on TV shows and you can check out what was recently added or latest episodes. Or you find the TV camera is very handy. Uh, whatever was added, there's all the shows that was added today and added yesterday to 17. So we just click and see what was added uh, yesterday. So here's all the TV shows that was just added yesterday. Um, so on the weekdays you get the likes of Coronation Street and EastEnders in here as well. But uh, so there's... Um, last night's episode of celebrity big brother so you just click on that and again it'll bring up a series of links now the different apps do use different links and um, you'll see this genesis one uses some different ones so you find out a primary ones to be pretty good it looks a bit but but uh, you just search down through it and we just try the vid bull one You were, brace yourselves for very offensive language and adult themes. Previously, the house reached breaking point. Again, this, this will all update uh, daily, so every day you get to the latest episodes that's out. Some of the other new episodes that uh, just went on yesterday. So we'll go back. Out. And then um, the Movie 25 app is good as well. Um, I just find the menus in it handy because you can check out, say, uh, we're going to movies. You can go into other featured. Featured will be the latest movies out in the cinema right now, or you can go into the latest HD, and there'll be the latest movies gone to um, DVD. So we just click on the latest HD. These are all DVD copies, so all these are DVD. The Hero, The Lord of the Rings, The Battle of the Two Armies, The Equalizer, Horrible Bosses 2, all DVD quality there. No crawler. Again, this is all updated daily, so you have hundreds of movies in there. For sports, um, we were using the Mondro again. There's another few apps you can use, um, Phoenix. For sports, you can use Sports Devil, you can use Navi X, and you can use Oil Oil. So, just for instance, we go into Oil Oil. Click on New Menu. Click on Live Sports, and again, you'll get movies in here as well. you get live television channels. The more you search around on these boxes, the more you find. So there we've got it. It's a BT Sports, BN Sports, you get Sky Sports in here as well. So you just click on BT Sports. Won the ball back himself. Just let it go for a second. Let's say, the roll of Marcus. Juventus match on. The third centre half when Juventus have got the ball as soon as 
Well, there's Corona win the ball. He steps into midfield and tries to become a playmaker. Again, they got my game, so I'm going to stop it. As they were on so you get your various different sports in there. You get uh, Fox Sports, ESPN, Eurosport. You get links like this coming up as well when there is a specific match on, just a, uh, a separate link will come on it. So you can use them as well instead of just looking for a Sky Sport or a BT Sports. But there is your Sky Sports there as well. Different links for them. And you'll also get sports in uh, Navi X or Phoenix or Sports Devil is one of the main ones that would be used for sports as well. You're just going to Sports Devil and going to either of these last three at the end. So you're going to the fourth one, Louis Sports, and then there will be sports in all of these. So you can just go into uh, fourth row sports.eu and then whatever sports you're looking for, so say football. And again, here's your Sky Sports, BT Sports, and here's different links to matches that wouldn't even necessarily be, be shown on the telly. Uh, they could be broadcast in, in, in another country. And uh, the links will pop up here as well, so you won't miss a team. So that's uh, XBMC. Let me just go over that. And some of the other apps then you've got is uh, Mobdraw Showbox and HD Cinema. Mobdraw again is just full of live television shows. So we can go in here and into channels. And this will just bring us uh, loads of live television channels from all over the world. So there's a couple of hundred different live TV channels in here. You've got same again, you, know, you get your RT1, 2, TV3, and you've got English channels like BT, BBC, and that. And you've got the American channels, uh, ABC, Showtime, Cartoon Network. There's hundreds of different channels in here, like television channels, Nickelodeon, Discovery. There is thousands of channels there to look at. You can also um, go through these menus if you go to sports again. You'll find more links for uh, Sky Sports and BT Sports. Just look down through them there. ESPN, Satanta, uh, Race in UK, Box Nation, ESPN, Box Sports, you got them all there. The other two apps you'd be using is uh, Showbox and HD Cinema. And the two of these apps are quite similar in, in terms of look. So we're just going to uh, one of them. We're going to HD Cinema here. And they're just again, they're just full of the latest TV shows and movies uh, available. They look day daily as well. So you see all the different uh, TV shows. The difference between these and uh, the XBMC app is these are all just one click links. So you don't need to, to search for a source. Um, these are the sources are stored on uh, inside these apps. So you just click and they'll uh, play. So we'll go in and what have we got? Here's the uh, Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. Just click that on the top right and play. A mighty city has stood proud in England for over 2,000 years. Here we are. It's the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. Just fast forward a bit. All high quality DVD. You get back out, you just press the back button. And that's uh, pretty much it. Also, um, it is recommended to just clear the cache on XBMC, maybe once every month or so. XBMC is this app here, and to do that, you just go into um, Settings, down to Apps, click on XBMC, and here you have a clear cache, and you just clear that, and that'll uh, clear XBMC to a fresh state, and it's recommended to do it every four to six weeks. Um, just don't clear 
the data because that will wipe the apps on uh, cleared off it so it's just clear cache is all you do once every six weeks or so just to keep it running smooth and if you ever need to uh, reboot the box you just hold the power button and this menu will come up and you click reboot and the box will reboot that's it